Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the NJ Podcast. This podcast aims to share stories, tips, and insights about achieving success while having fun. From topics ranging from personal development to business, entertainment, and sports, the podcast will have conversations with experts and people in their respective fields. The podcast will also share insights from Jabra James's published and upcoming books. The tagline, which is the theme of the podcast, is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. This means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Your host, Jablo James. Hey everyone, NJ here, host of the NJ Podcast and welcome to another segment of the foolishness of preaching where we talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ and how it can help you to live a more fulfilled life. I want to share a light-hearted story. There was a young boy who was visiting a large church, a majestic cathedral with his mother. As he was marveling at the grandeur of the building, his eyes fell on a plaque with various names and small flaps next to it. He turned to his mother and asked, Mom, what are all these names and flags for? His mother explained, These flags represent the members of our church who gave their lives in the service. The boy's eyes widened in awe, but after a moment of silence he said, Which one? The 9.30 or the 11 o'clock service? Jokes aside, that young boy's question carries more weight than we might first acknowledge. This brings us to our focal point today. I want to talk about the subject, do you want what comes with it? Do you want what comes with it? Our opening scripture comes from the book of Luke chapter 14 verses 27 to 28. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you desiring to build a tower does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Our dreams, aspirations, and desires are often like that tower. We yearn for the finished product, the height, and the view from the top, but the pertinent question remains, are we prepared to bear the cost that comes with it? Consider the life of Joseph, the son of Jacob in Genesis, a young man with dreams of greatness, dreams that his family would one day bow down to him. Joseph wanted what came with his dreams, the leadership, the influence and power, but what he didn't anticipate were the trials that came along the journey. He was sold into slavery by his own brothers, wrongfully accused and thrown into prison. Joseph found that the path to his destiny was laden with hardship and tribulation. And yet, Joseph bore his cross. He understood the words of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who said when Christ calls a man, he bids him come and die. Joseph's dreams did come to pass. Yes, they did. But it wasn't without cost. Similarly, Paul the apostle also knew about bearing the cross. Paul was a man of stature, a Pharisee, well respected and revered amongst his people. But when he met Christ on the road to Damascus, everything changed. He said in Philippians 3 verse 8, Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage so that I could gain Christ. Paul desired to know Christ, but he was also willing to accept what came with it. The persecution, the shipwrecks, beatings, and imprisonment. He counted the cost and considered it worth it. The reward of knowing Christ surpassed all he had to give up or endure. We all have our own it, our own tower to build. It could be a flourishing career, a peaceful family life, or a closer walk with God. But we must understand that there is a cost. As A.W. Tozer said, The man who has God for his treasure has all things in one. 
The real question is, are we willing to bear the cross that comes with the treasure? You see, brothers and sisters, bearing our cross is not just about enduring hardships. It's about surrendering our will. It's about complete obedience to God's plans. Jesus said in Matthew 16 verse 24, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Jesus, in Matthew 16 verse 24, continued to say, For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Are we prepared like Joseph to face the trials that come with realizing our dreams? Are we ready like Paul to discard everything for the sake of knowing Christ? As followers of Christ, we are called on to a journey of faith and obedience, a journey that may bring trials and tribulations, but the reward is far greater than the cost. Romans 8 verse 18 says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. As we pursue our it, let's remember the words of Billy Graham. God never takes away something from our life without replacing it with something better. The cost of following Christ is nothing compared to the eternal riches he offers. There is no crown without a cross. The path to resurrection passes through the Calvary. So we aspire and strive for our dreams and goals. Let, let's not forget to count the cost. Let's be willing to bear our crosses, surrender our will, and follow Jesus. In the end, the cost is nothing compared to the reward that awaits us in Christ Jesus. As Paul beautifully encapsulated in 2 Timothy 4 verse 7 to 8, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. So today, brothers and sisters, I challenge you, as you pursue your dreams and aspirations, remember to ask yourself, do I want what comes with it. Count the cost. Bear the cross and follow him. For the promise of his glory far outweighs any temporary struggle or sacrifice. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. And may we all have the courage to bear our crosses. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this episode on the NJ Podcast. Make sure to visit the website at the njpodcast.captivateair.fm where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, all the other podcast platforms or via RSS so you never miss a show. You can also find the video content on the YouTube channel and Instagram page. That will be in Jablo James on YouTube and jablo.j.ngosi for Instagram. Please subscribe and follow on those platforms as well. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on the podcast platforms. Or if you'd like to tell a friend about the show, that will help us out too. If you'd like more information about published or upcoming books, visit www.njablojames.com for more information. Please reach out if you'd like to share what you would like to hear and which guests should be invited to the show. And remember, success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, which means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Now just chill until the next episode.